Welcome to the Waterbrook. We are a family, and we are called to love God, love people, serve society, rebuild our country, and change the world. We're a growing community of believers, and our vision is to set a generation on fire for God. Our mission is to help people have a personal relationship with God, find destiny, fulfill purpose, and experience a breakthrough in every area of life. We're confident that whether you're a member, worker, or this is your very first time, you will have a mind-blowing, spirit-filling, life-changing experience with God, and you will never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. So please don't just sit there and stare. Engage. And don't just press play. Participate. Open your mind from the start. Worship God from your heart. Let him speak to you from his word. And let him heal you wherever it hurts. Your Waterbrook experience starts now. Morning, everyone. How are you doing? Just waking up? I know. We gave you two extra hours. Oh, we deserve something. You can send me a personal gift. Unfortunately, Shay couldn't join me this morning because, you know, he's still at church. Morning, good morning. How's church? So long. He's not hugging. I hope he's not hugging. Actually, I hope he's not hugging, actually. Corona is still around, guys, so please stay safe. But we have an amazing service planned for you today. So I hope you're ready. Sit up, you know, call whoever you need to. It's time for service, guys. Today, we have Brookstone give, giving us an amazing worship session. And right after, we have PB giving us a word in due season. You know it's like daily bread. We need this manna from heaven. We need this word from heaven. We need this new revelation. And he's coming with a word that is so apt for this time. So I'm super excited, aren't you? Okay, let's pray. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for life. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for the blessing that is fellowship in, in your house today, O oh Lord. We just worship you for everyone who is joining today. We thank you, O oh Lord, that as they are joining, that you have prepared their hearts to receive the worship, to receive the word, to receive everything that they are here for, that they will not leave empty. They will not leave in the same way that they came, but God, you will transform their lives through everything that they get today, oh God. We just thank you, oh God, for everyone that is ministering today, that you also continue to fill them, oh God, that you continue to water them and continue to grow them in your kingdom, oh God. We just worship you, we give you a praise, and here's the worship. Baba Shem Adam 
God most high Jesus Christ You are an Eloi Israel El Elyon God most high You are Jesus Christ You are an Eloi Israel El Elyon said You are Jesus Christ And we call you
You're more than a miracle You're more than a sign You're more than a wonder You are the consuming fire You are more than a miracle You're more than a sign You are more than a wonder You are the consuming fire You're more than a miracle You are more than a miracle More than a sign You are more than a sign More than a wonder You are more than a wonder You are the consuming fire You are more than a miracle You are more than a miracle More than a sign You're the consuming fire Oh, you are more than a miracle More than a miracle You are, you are more than a sign You are, you are more than a wonder You are the consuming fire Lord, you are more than a miracle You are, you are more than a sign You are, you are more than a wonder You are the consuming fire You are more than a miracle You are more than a sign You are more than a wonder You are the consuming fire 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 Consuming fire Consume our hearts with your love Consume us, consume us, consume us You're the consuming fire We worship the consuming fire You reign, you ancient Zion's king Kadosh, Kadosh You are mighty on your throne You reign, you ancient Zion's king Kadosh, Kadosh You are mighty on your throne Wherever you are, raise it up this morning You reign, you ancient Zion's king Praise him You are mighty, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign, you reign. You reign, shine. You ancient Zion's king. Cardo, Cardo, you are mighty. Oh, fountains of 
the lion is here. The lion is here. We love the lion. We love the lamb. We love the lion. And we love the lamb. We worship the land. We worship the land. <laughs> Our ears are open. And we hear the lion. We hear the lion. We hear the lamb. Whatever he says, we will do. We hear the lamb. Wherever he leads, we will go. The lion is speaking. We hear the lion. The lion is speaking. We hear the lamb. From the throne of mercy. We hear the lion. From his mercy seat. We hear the lamb. Oh, no. Lion is bringing judgment. Lion is bringing judgment. It's bringing judgment. It's bringing judgment. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no no. Speak Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, we just thank you for such an amazing worship, such an amazing time in your presence. As we've learned this season, put worship before your warfare, God. We just continue to revel in who you are as God. If you did not do anything else, oh God, you will still be amazing. You will still be God. You will still be a good father. We just give you praise. We magnify your name because you are worthy of all praise, all 
all, all and all glory. Father, Lord, we ask you, Lord, that even as we continue this service today, O oh Lord, and as you prepare the hearts, O oh God, may people hear what they want. May the Spirit translate it into people's situations. May people may people find their freedom. May people be loosed, O oh God, in this in 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 this very service, O oh God. We just thank you for everyone's life, and we ask you, Lord, that you continue to grow us and develop us in you, O oh God. We worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wasn't that worship just awesome, guys? I I personally loved it. I mean, I know I already went for service earlier, but I was still like, okay, just joking. But anywho, we have a, a good, a well-packed week. Just the announcements real quick. So Tuesday, we have upper room. I don't know about you guys, but given everything that's been going on in this country, prayer, prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Look, prayer is so important. I joined I joined Upper Room the other day and I was just so like it just felt like everything that was worrying me in this world like just it, it just didn't seem as important. We need to put God in focus. We need to focus on God. We need to pursue righteousness and understand that every other thing will be added onto us. So please join the prayer because it is an amazing time in the presence of God. No joke. And then afterwards on Thursday, if you want to get more into the word, you know in the beginning it was the word and the word was a god and the word was god so if you want to learn more of god definitely come join in with kind of learning more of the bible digging deep it's super important right as christians to continuously meditate on the word okay and then finally y'all know we're back in physical church so if you people are lazy this sunday at least some of you let's let's see you guys let's see you guys in your sunday best can't you see can't you see can't you see i had to get cute for sunday Anyway, so come, come join us. It's Amy Koyi. Check our social media handles for the exact address. But we'll be there ready to welcome you, not with open arms because of Corona, but with the, the full love of Christ, guys. <laughs> so right now we have a word in due season from the amazing, the awesome, our very own. We've seen him grow over time and it's been just such an amazing way to watch God work through his life. Be pastor blessed. Okay. Good morning, Waterbrook. Good morning, church. If, if you're worshiping with us for the first time, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. I have come to declare to you that you've come to Mount Zion. You've come to the heavenly Jerusalem. You've come to the countless thousands of angels in joyful gathering. You've come to the assembly of God's firstborn children, those whose names are written in heaven. You've come to the spirit of just men made perfect. You've come to God himself, who is the judge over all things. You've come to Jesus, who is the mediator, who mediates the covenant between God and his people. And you've come to the sprinkled blood, which speak better things than the blood of Abel. Oh, Jepro, Sibra, Ashan, Dalebrodos, Lord, we worship you. We declare that there is none like you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for your presence. Let the weight of your glory fill every home, every heart, Jesus. That Christ may dwell in our hearts. For Jesus said, No one comes unto the Father except the Father pulls him close. Lord, we honor you, Jehovah. We thank you, O oh God, for the privilege, O oh God, of being adopted as your sons. We do not deserve it, but it's by your mercy that we are not consumed. Thank you, Jehovah, for you have made us a priest and a king. We come into the priestly dimension this morning. Just the way Yeshua was standing, Joshua was standing before the angel in the book of Zechariah. Oh God, change every filthy garment. Put upon us, oh God, the garment of righteousness. For who shall stand in the presence of the Lord? Who has a clean heart and have not sworn deceitfully? But if thou Lord shouldest mark iniquity, who shall stand? Oh God, this morning we repent from our ways. We receive forgiveness. We honor you, Jehovah. We thank you for the gift of Jesus. For it is written, therefore, come boldly to the throne of grace. 
for you understand our weaknesses. This morning we come boldly to the throne of grace. We will come to the king of kings, the one who sits on the, on the mercy seat in between the two cherubs. We declare your holiness. We say you are holy, holy, holy. We join the angels in heaven to say you are holy, oh God. We declare, oh God, your holiness. We respond to you in holiness. Lord, we worship you. Oh, Jebros Indra Oshatale Sahab. We feel your presence in this place, oh God. Oh, Shantale Brosh Kibra Asali Boshandra Osali Bagadis. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, oh God. We pray for healing in our body, souls, and spirit. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your love. Thank you, oh God, for your enlarging us in every side. Thank you, oh God, let the weak say, I am strong. Thank you, oh God, you are breaking every chain of limitation. You are God, our deliverer. Oh, Shantela Rose, Imbra Oshatis, Kaluska Talamande Shata. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let there be a cleansing, let there be a restoration in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we declare we receive strength, we receive grace to finish strong in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shepardi, whatever you are, just pray in the spirit. Oh, thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Oh, Zebra Ambra Uske, thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, God, for the infilling of the Spirit. Oh, we pray for businesses. I declare that the hand of the Lord shall rest upon your finances. Praise in the name of Jesus. I pray for faith for you to receive the healing. You are healed in your body. You are healed in your bones. In the name of Jesus. Promotion is yours. In the name of Jesus. We shift this this morning in the spirit. We shift this every negative report. We superimpose the counsel of God. In the name of Jesus. We superimpose the counsel of God in the name of Jesus. We superimpose the counsel of God in your life, in your marriage, in your business. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, rise up, rise up, rise up. Let there be a stirring. Let there be a stirring. Let there be a shift. Let there be a shift. For the Lord is moving you, moving things around for your good. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which has oppressed you and depressed you, the Lord is bringing you out of depression. In the name of Jesus. For the joy of the Lord is your strength in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord is upon you this minute. We prophesy, we prophesy in the name of Jesus. Oh, someone say, I am blessed. Write it on the chart. Say, I am blessed. Oh, say, brother, say, bro, Indra Salis and Salis. Lisa Aleboche. Let power be made available this morning. Let the power of the Most High be made available this morning. May the Holy Spirit begin to manifest uh, in the name of Jesus. 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 Kelis and bro, that same power that resurrected Jesus from the grave. That same power that called for Lazarus. Uh, that same power that made the dry bones come alive. In the name of Jesus, may things, everything dead in your life begin to come alive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free from any oppression in the name of Jesus. Oh, Santa Hebra Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for such an amazing time in your presence. Thank you, oh God, for the testimonies. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthroughs. You shall hear good news this week. You shall hear good news this week. Joy is yours. Testimony is yours. Oh, Shatai Boch Kibra Ali. Your mom is healed in the name of Jesus. Your mom is healed in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Samanti Kasu Ambatis Ali Shalos Abradis Kiosahalis. Zimanda lo shele o sele bogo se bradianga asalios. Ke sele bush ibrosa le pasendra alebos. 
Someone is getting a new job this week. They're going to call you this week in the name of Jesus. Oh, sale pra santa le bush, ki bra ale mo si kele gede. Sele bush, e bra santa le bush, e gede gede gede. Hey, sale pra gede, the pain in your eyes be gone in the name of Jesus. Oh, santa le rush, ki bra a sale mo si gede, si bra olis. Thank you, Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah. Amen. 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 So let's just, we'll be doing a bit of Bible study. Just a bit of Bible study this morning. Let's quickly flip our Bibles to John chapter 15, verse 5. Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Before we read any further. It's very interesting what Jesus was saying here. He was talking to his disciples at the time and he said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Let me do a little demonstration. Now I had to cut off this branch. Funny enough, it looks very much alive. In as much it is not connected to the source. How long do you think this can stay alive? But well, it looks good. Jesus is saying, I am the vine and you are the branch. If you remain in me and I in you, you will produce much fruit. This branch will not be able to produce fruit unless it is connected to the source. But this is very much alive, despite not connecting to the source. It's a matter of time, it will wither and it will die off. It's interesting because this is what God said to Adam. And he said to Adam, if you eat of this fruit, you will die. Adam ate of the fruit, but in the natural, Adam was still alive. What God was saying in the essence is, if you eat of this fruit, you'll be disconnected from me. And without me, you will not be able to bear fruit. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. This is a very strong statement. He said you cannot do anything. Imagine someone standing in front of you and saying, without me, you are nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. Sometimes we feel Staying connected to Christ has to do just with ministry, with inner work, with your ministry or with church, or with preaching the gospel. But Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. He didn't say, without me, you can do some things. He said, nothing. In advancing the kingdom, kingdom marriages, kingdom businesses, everything you want to do, you have to stay connected to the source. He says, without me, nothing. When Jesus came to tell the people, he said, I've, in John 10, he said, I've come that you may have life. He was talking to people who are literally alive. He came to give them life. That life is a life that comes from the source, from God himself, from God the Father. That was how Jesus walked on this earth. That's why he keeps saying things like, I and my Father are one. He kept saying things like this. He said, the work that I do, my father is doing it through me. There was no separation between him and the father. And that is the same life Christ came to give us. And that's why he was saying, without me, you can do nothing. This is why we pray. Because for us to be able to bear fruit, we have to be connected to the vine. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 23, I'll show you, 1 verse 23, it says, And the church is his body, it is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Christ fills everything with himself. And that's why he said, without me, you can do nothing. You know, some people have already canceled 2020. They say, you know what, well, let's just wait for 2021. 
You don't need to cancel 2020. You just need to be connected to the source. Because God is not limited by time. A lot can still happen before the end of the year. He said, just remain in me. That is the rule. Stay connected in me and you will bear much fruit. God isn't limited by time. You are the one who says, yes, coming to an end. It is for you. In season and out of season, God is still God. When he saw the fig tree, the fig tree wasn't bearing fruit. It was as though he was irritated. The Bible said he cursed the fig tree. So when you are connected to the source, you bear fruit no matter the season. When you stay connected to the source, you are relevant in season and out of season. But Jesus said you ought to remain. So that means for him to say remain, it means there's a possibility that you can be connected, that you can be disconnected. Sometimes we stay connected and we pick up some things and then we run off. We forget about going back to the source. Can you tell the person beside you, go back to the source? Without the source, you can do nothing. Verse 6 says, anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and with, and with us. Such branches are gathered in a pile to be burned. Verse 7 says, but if you remain in me, now look at this. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask of anything you want and it will be granted. Look at this. What do you want? That's one question I'm asking you now. What do you want God to do for you? What are you asking God for? I hear people talk about the 11th hour miracle. Good. But what are you asking God for? The condition here is, remain in me and my word in you. Then ask, it shall be granted. Look at the condition. Stay connected to me and have my word in you, then ask, it shall be granted. And he says in verse 8, because God wants you to bear fruit in every area of your life. He wants your business to work. He wants your marriage to work. He wants your relationship to work. Because he says, when you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. So, when you are in Christ, they ought to be fruits. But you ought to stay connected and the word in you, then the fruit is inevitable. There is something about the life of Jesus. The way he walked with the Holy Spirit. This is why when Jesus was leaving, he said, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. You need, I will send you another comforter. I will send you the Holy Spirit. So you can build a relationship and intimacy and abide in him. If you look at the life of Jesus, Jesus literally did not have a life. He was all about, his job was all about pleasing his father. It was all about what the Holy Spirit wanted him to do. The Bible says the Holy Spirit drove him to the, to the wilderness. It was all about, at the point, he threw his own will out of the window. We have to come to a place where we throw our will out of the window and say, God, not my will, but your will and do only the things that pleases the Father. We have to come to a place where we abide in Him. Even as a pastor, I've realized sometimes we want to preach our own sermon, sometimes we want to do our own things. But Jesus said, not my will, but your will. We have to come to a place where we stay Align where we, we submit ourselves and let the Holy Spirit manifest Himself. We have to come to a place. Let me show you a scripture in First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. Paul was preaching, and Paul said, And my message and my preaching were very plain. Rather than using clever and persuasive speeches, I relied on the power of the Holy Spirit. 
I did this so you would, you would trust not in human wisdom but in the power of God. At this point, Paul threw away he, everything he knew, his intellect. He just took it out and relied on the power of the Holy Spirit. See, as long as you keep promoting self, how will there be the manifestation of the power of God? As long as you keep pushing your own will, how then can the will of God be made manifest in your life? As long as self-preservation, see, you have to move from self-confidence to God-confidence. As long as self is in the picture, there will be no manifestation. As long as you, you, you decrease and God increases, then there will be manifestation. We've heard a gospel of self, self this, self that, self this. Anything that promotes self is not God. That is why we don't see the move of the Spirit. Paul said, I had to, if it was intentional, so that then you can trust in the power of God and not in the wisdom of men. As I begin to bring this message to a close, let me share the principle of multiplication. Let's look at what happened when Jesus fed the 5,000 in the book of Mark. Mark chapter 6 verse 30. Let me show you a principle here that is very key. And I need you to apply these principles in your life and you will see results. I don't know what you're believing God for. I don't know what you're waiting for or what you're waiting on God for. I want you to apply this principle and going back to God, going back to the source and taking his word back to him and staying there on that word. There is something about holding on to God's word. If I go into the book of Mark, remember what happened to Peter. Peter said to Jesus, Master, if it is you, bid me come. The moment Jesus said, come, Peter moved. There was a storm and he started sinking. But let me ask you one question. When Peter tried it, did it work? It worked. When Peter tried in faith to respond to the word of God, what happened? There was result. I understand that we're in a world where we are so practical that we are too logical that we cannot even respond to the word of God. How then can we get results? How then can we produce results? Let me show you. Let's look at Mark chapter 6 verse 41. What happened? After, we all know the story of how Jesus Christ fed the 5,000. But let's look at Mark's account. This is very important. This is very important. And I want you to apply this principle to your business as well. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up towards heaven and blessed them. Then breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread to his disciples so that they could distribute it to the people. He also divided the fish for everyone to share. They all ate as much as they wanted. Now let's go back one step. Look at this. It says, he broke the bread and he kept giving his disciples five loaves of bread, two fishes. 5,000 people to feed. I want you to try something radical in this season. We have how many days to go in 20 this year? How many days to go? But it doesn't matter what is in your hand. Stop looking at 2021. In the context of giving up on 2020. No. You have to go back to the source. Now, five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus had it, 5,000. It's not even possible. But the Bible says, as he broke the bread, he kept giving his disciples. Now, look at this. He broke the bread and handed it over to his disciples. His disciples shared the bread. The Bible says, look, at he kept giving. That means when they ran out, they came back to the source. So the multiplication happened at the source. Sometimes you're praying for a job. God gives you a job. Then you become too busy to go back to God. Then you start depending on your skill and your intellect. 
let's put it this way you run a fashion business for an example for example God had given you this perfect idea, this perfect design. You prayed about it. Now you've done the design and then you're hoping for it to just explode. You have to go back to the source. God wants you to be fully dependent on him. You know, sometimes we pity God. We feel sorry for God. No! That's our natural mentality. You have to be dependent on him. That is what he wants. That is why he said, without me, you can do nothing. Let me give you a practical example. There was this project I was working on in my company, and we had auditors come in. And so we needed to write a script. There's this script that we needed to, you know, to use to clean the data or something. So we had to log a ticket to the global team, and the global team struggled. They couldn't fix it for like three, four years. They couldn't fix it. But I developed this software and we couldn't solve the problem. So we got some guys from India, they tried to fix the problem, they couldn't. So we had two days, two days. In fact, a day to the audit. A boss has said to me, I don't know how we're gonna do this, you have to find a way to do it. So that morning, I remember praying, and I said, Holy Spirit, you know, Jesus said, you shall show us all things. He never said some things. He said all things. That means you should give me insight into my work, in my business, in my relationship, in my marriage, in my career. He said all things. And I said, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I just need you right now. And I held that scripture. Guess what? I went into the meeting with one of my colleagues. And as I sat down there, I had a voice in my ear that said, a still small voice. He just said, Google this. This is something we've been trying to fix for how many years now? So I Googled it. I just saw an article and I followed the article and I did what I had to do in five minutes. Something we couldn't resolve in five years was resolved. So I sent the report to my boss and then he saw it and he got back to me. He was like, what did you do? I said, I don't know. I just spoke to God about it. Let me tell you something. People think the Holy Spirit is just going to make you very wealthy. No. The same Holy Spirit, the fullness of the Spirit that is working with someone who is hardworking, who is a rich man somewhere, is the same Holy Spirit that is with one lazy guy who doesn't want to move. The Bible says the Spirit of God will bear witness. So that means there needs to be an action and then He bears witness to your action. You pray about something, then you move, then you, the Holy Spirit bears witness to that action. Paul said, I went to preach in Asia and I, uh, the Holy Spirit forbade me. It means he moved and the Holy Spirit did not bear witness with that action he was about to take. Stay connected to the source. You've gotten the job. You prayed God has given you the job. But always go back before you go for that presentation. Before you go for that deal. Ask him for the strategy. He wants you dependent on him. As he was given, the Bible says the bread was multiplying. As he was given, as he was given, as they were connected to the source, they were taken. The multiplication was happening. Sometimes we take and we run off, and then we run dry. And we begin to ask ourselves, is it God? You are praying for a relationship. God gives you. Then you, you and your spouse, you guys stop praying. You begin to go through issues. You begin to fight, you know. Remember, if you even go back in, in, in the book of John, he said, Jesus also said, if you remain in me and you bear fruit, my father will prune you so that you bear more fruit. You know what it means to prune? So there are different types of pruning. There's you not bearing fruit in Christ and you'll be cast out, which he said, and there is you bearing fruit and him pruning you, disciplining you to bring you to a place where you can bear more fruit. Always stay connected to the source. Always go back to the source. Never run off on your own. This is a good time to come back to the source. And I want you to try this. The next few days of 2020, I want you to take it seriously because a lot can happen. It's like that five loaves and two fishes. The little you have now that you're holding on to, don't give up on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. 
All you need to do is go and connect to the source and see what's going to happen. Don't look at the 5,000. Don't look at the crowd. Don't look at the storm. At least Peter dead. Those are the boats. They didn't come out, but Peter came out. He had enough faith to respond to the voice of Jesus. That is why it's good to pray in the spirit. The Bible says in the book of Jude, he says, pray, build up your most holy faith, praying in the spirit. Stir up yourself in the spirit and then you move. Don't look at the crowd. Don't look at yourself so that the spirit of God can be made manifest. So that you can experience that miracle. And I believe in my spirit this morning that someone is going to experience a great miracle this week. I believe as you go back to God in humility, humbling yourself, promotion is yours. You shall receive that promotion. Have you been struggling at work? God is saying, come back to me. You're asking yourself, you're saying I ought to be promoted at this time. God is saying, just come back to me. All you need is come back to the source. That's all you need this morning. Everything you need is with him. He says, come to the source this morning. Somebody needs to go back to God this morning. Wherever you are, let me pray for you. Let me pray for you this morning. For the grace. The grace to go back to God. I tell people, be careful of perverted messages of grace. The Bible says in the book of Jews, some people have won their way into, their church, into your churches. Telling you that the grace of God permits us to live a moral life. No. But the grace of God is the ability for you to repent even when, when you know you are, you've fallen off. Grace brings you back to God. Grace is the ability for you to say, oh God, I receive forgiveness. Grace is for you to be able to call, call on God even when you're in that pit. Grace is the enablement for you to be able to, 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 to walk up to God. For Jesus said, no one comes home to my father. I said, the father pulls him close. This morning, can we go back to the source this morning? For the rest of 2020, can we stay connected to God? No matter what it is, God can still give you that breakthrough miracle. God can still give you that perfect relationship. God can still give you that perfect life. God can give you anything. He is God. He said, ask of me of the nation and I will give thee for the inheritance. There is nothing too difficult for him to do. Stay up your faith this morning. Can you take a step out of the boat this morning? Can you, can you, can you, can you believe God again? Can you trust him this morning? For he says, I am that I am. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He said, I predestined you to be adopted as my son. He said, I died for you. He says, I'm not looking at your sin. I'm looking at Jesus. He says, whatever you're struggling with, died with Jesus on the cross. He said, rise up from where you are. You can still receive a healing this morning. You can still receive a breakthrough this morning. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Thank you, O oh God, for your word. Thank you for the grace to say, Abba, Father. Thank you for the grace to turn to you, to come back to you. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Spirit of the living God. Thank you, O oh God, for turning things around. Thank you for your presence, for we can feel your power in this place. Oh, Jean Talibos, Ali. Ask God anything this minute for the power of God is in this place. Ask Him for anything. Oh, say Bosh Kibra Ali Brunda Aske Proshindra Aske. I pray for those who, who some people need the gift of the Spirit. Le Pranda Askibra Ashe, the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it wherever you are. Begin to pray in other tongues. Oh, Jean Talibos, Kibra, Oh, Jean Talibos, Kibra Ali. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, uh, this is how you greet people like sorry, this. Sorry, I'm time. so sorry. Hi, guys. So sorry I'm late. It's awesome to be here again. Thank you so much for joining us. 
Wasn't that an amazing word? It was an amazing word though. Even though I was late, God, God bless you, PB. You know, that was a powerful, powerful prayer. Powerful session in Christ. You know, we really needed that charge again. That first prayer ah, though, come on, I was come like, on. just just came straight through. Came straight I through. I really am. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, okay. Shay. Right. Let's get them through offering, okay? Let's do this. Offering time. Blessing time. Offering time. Blessing time. Let's do this. Remember, if you do this in the flesh, you can't start something in the spirit and end in the flesh. Whatever you're asking God for, understand that He is your provider. Yes, yes. He gives indeed. you providence. So don't look at the providence and hold it to yourself. Of course. Because if you abide in Him, what, what is that say? Major blessing. Major hey. blessing, guys. And guys, also remember, you're giving out a revelation. So the account details are right here on the screen. On the screen. On the screen. Guys, make sure you give from the bottom of your heart. Trust and believe that as you're giving, God will bless you and God will reward you in Jesus' name. And give from a place of revelation. And yes. all my brothers and sisters in the Yovas, we got okay. you covered. Please Indeed. check out the link in the bio as well. Lord, you are king immortal, age to age, the same. Lord, you reign in the midst of us, we see. Oh, God. 
No, 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 no. Okay. This is just okay. the normal Sunday drip. We thank okay, God. Okay. We thank God. Think about the drip drip. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All those of you who didn't make it to church on Sunday, I'm sure some of you can come next Sunday. Come get dressed up. Let's go for brunch after. You know how we do. But remember, 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 you know, we need to abide this week. Of course. We need to know that 2020 is not cancelled, it's not over. God can still do anything miraculous and amazing. So come back to us with your testimony. DM us, send us messages, follow us on social media just so you know what's going on for the rest of the week, though. Okay. But can you pray us out? Fantastic. Can you? I can, I can do that at I, least. I, I, Jeez. Since you're so late. I'm Look, see afraid. see what had happened was, you know, and then, you know, like traffic I and then just busy so many people. You I know was how not, you I was not I was not Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Fine. Fine. So guys, let's wrap up service. Heavenly Father, we just worship you, we exalt your holy name, and we bless you. We thank you for another amazing time in your presence. We thank you that you are here. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving. We thank you, Lord, that your spirit is in this place. Heavenly Father, we commit our weeks into your hand. We commit all of our lives, our jobs, our families, our education, and everything we're pursuing. Lord, we lay it at your feet. We pray that you order our steps. We pray that your word will continue to guide us and be a light onto our feet in Jesus' name. We pray that you continue to do that which only you can do in our lives in Jesus' name. We pray that you continue to uplift us and keep us in the palms of your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we exalt you. We worship you. We give you all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Go peace. Go peace. Hey. Okay, guys. Okay. How does it make me? Yes, indeed. Woo! God bless, guys. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.